What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to Farmer on the Prairie. Today we're going to be working on our new tractor. First thing today is we're going to go ahead and take the loader off of it. The loader needs to come off so we can check it over closer. We think the engine's got a few leaks just from sitting so much. So we might need some new seals on the motor and stuff. We just want to take the uh, loader off so we can do some things to the tractor, make it a little bit easier on ourselves. I think how this one works is we'll put the bucket back on and then undo some clips at the back here. And as you're driving forward, it should rotate down and this right up here act as the stand. So we got the loader off the tractor now I just need to disconnect the hydraulic hoses and then it's free. So the loader's off of it now and we pulled it in the shop. I'm gonna try and figure out how to get the hood off. So then we can look at the motor and everything better. To get these front pieces off here, all you've got to do, it took me a while to figure this out, but all you've got to do, just got to grab it like this and give it a good. Good little tug and it pops right off. I'm gonna take the nuts off in here, one there, one there. And it looks like we've got a total of four for that section. I'm not sure if we're going to have to pull everything off to get the hood off or if the hood can pull off with that. So I pulled two bolts out here out and then I did four bolts up here in the front that go through the grill. And I think if I just pull the stack off, that clamp for the stack and then take that off, it should be ready to come off. Right, the exhaust clamp is now loose. Okay, so got the hood all off. We we're looking at different leaks on here. The valve cover gasket needs replaced and then the fuel return lines and then after that it should be good because you can see it's leaking up here fuel return lines and then i think the valve cover gasket as well but other than that it's in really good condition we do need to change the, the antifreeze it is green antifreeze we like to run blue so we need to change that out we need to change the hydraulic fluid slash transmission fluid we use some pico hytran 
and then he's running an older style oil in here so we're gonna upgrade that to Sunpico 15w40 this hydraulic control lever is also very um, not handy it is at a weird angle and it's either up down or side to side and it doesn't really give you the option to go um, up and roll the bucket out at the same time so it's very unhandy and I like more the eight position style where you have you can take it over to the corner like so you can take it over and like that and it'll go up and roll out at the same time so we're gonna try and find a valve like that and then make a new bracket that goes from here and parks it so the control knob is right about up here where you can easily grab it because we do so much loader work that having to reach all the way outside the tractors is very unhandy. I'm also going to try and get LED retrofits for these H4 halogen bulbs that are in the tractor so it uh, is a lot brighter when we're working because we do a lot of work at night and it's nice to have bright lights so we're going to try and replace those. So I went to the farm store yesterday and got this sheet of metal and it looks to me about the same thickness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the old light holders out of the fenders on here and I'm going to trace around them. Once I trace around them, I'm going to take the die grinder and cut each one out. And then we once the new lights come in, they're a seven inch by two and a half inch recessed light so i'm going to then cut a hole out of the center and we're going to bolt the light in so it should look factory when it's done but it'll be much much brighter so i hope that really works out well this piece is barely big enough for two of them and then the lights i decided to order for the back are going to mount right here beside a brace under the fender and then they're going to point back and then we're gonna run the wire through the brace and out this plug here. Same thing on the other side. Yeah, I've got the plate, I've got it marked out and cut in two now. So I'm gonna take a die grinder and just start whittling away at this until I get it the exact same shape and size as the old one. So I've got the rough shape of the first mate plate made out. It's not going quite as well as I'd like. I'd like to get it a lot closer without having to do so much grinding.
All right guys, here is the finished product of the metal piece I was cutting out. So now when the light comes in, we're just gonna cut a square hole about like that, but I have to have the light to make sure it's the right size. And then drill six holes in it, bolt the light in, and then bolt this up and it'll be done. Well, of course after it's painted. But this just goes to show that if you've got a little bit of patience and some tools, you can go ahead and make almost anything yourself. You know, I could have said, oh, I need somebody with a laser table and a CNC machine. But all I had to do was cut it out with a sawzall and take a grinder to it. And it is the exact same size and shape as the old one with a big circle hole in it here. So now we're actually going to be able to install these lights properly and it will look very, very good when it's done. So after thinking about it for some time, we decided that to address the leaks on this thing, first we're gonna do the valve cover gasket and then the fuel return lines, which are right there we're gonna put those on hopefully get this thing a little bit less leaky so i got this cover pulled off here and it looks like we got a leak somewhere through here that we got to fix because you can see all the crud build up and there's some oil running down the other side um and then i got the air cleaner pulled off now so you can get a better look at what we're dealing with and it's like just these four bolts and then pull that off clean it all up and then you can see these fuel return lines here are just seeping diesel fuel everywhere. So we're gonna go ahead and undo those. And they go down and hook in right there. And that should be it. Okay, I got it all back together up there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and back my truck out and then back this thing outside. I'm gonna clean off the top of the transmission because I can't even really tell what's leaking and what's not. So I'm gonna blow that off with the air hose and we'll hopefully get this cleaned up enough to see what's going on. Okay, so I got that all blown off and we're gonna look around and try and find what is leaking on there. But I am going to now attempt to take the roll bar off this thing, get a few sockets and see what I can do. Dad's got the roll bar loose now and we're gonna pull it off. Mm -hmm. 